like I said, it's a distraction technique. So it's a way of saying, you know, actually the real problem that we're facing in this country, which are multiple and structural and ultimately due to political neglect of the majority of the population in favor of accruing wealth and private interests to cronyisms, you know, cronies, the, the sort of government buddies. So in, in lieu of any accountability over that, we now have this sort of dog whistling that, you know, the problem is with the Muslims and with the extremists. And we're all just a bit tired of it because, you know, it's not like we haven't heard it all before under Cameron. And what do you think it will lead to? Like, what, do you think it will have any ramifications? Genuinely, no. I just, I just think, you know, we're dealing with idiots in power and they speak occasionally and we all just go, oh God, idiots. And, you know, we're just waiting for the election. Genuinely, I'm speaking to you very, very frankly at this point. No one cares what Rishi Sunak has to say apart from his little buddies that he's trying to play to who already know that this is all about just trying to sort of pander to the more extreme parts of the Conservative Party who might be lured by these new fascistic parties even more to the far right than they've taken the party already. And, you know, the truth is, if that's the direction that they want to go in, then at this point, it's civil war that they're going for. You know, you cannot sort of drag a country into the depths of economic despair, which is what they have done, right? Created huge amounts of poverty, um, people living in destitution, the homeless crisis is off the charts. And at the same time, think that the British public is so dumb that they don't recognize that the real problem is with those in power. So I get it, there'll be a few people who sort of buy into this idea that the extremists are taking over. But I really just think that the majority of people are very clear on what the problem is. And that's the people in government.